Oh hi there, welcome to the DIY channel. Please enjoy this new console series, where for only 10 bucks, we turn this PS3 fat into PH4 fat, y'all. Where it literally eats the opposition. I just got back from the charity shop. 10 euros for a PlayStation 3. It is non-testy, whatever that means. Untested, I guess. This just in, consoles are just computers. There is no need for PC elitism. It's the same goddamn thing. If you learn all about the intricacies of a 40 year old console, you can apply it to any modern system. We got it all plugged in. Hopefully the power light comes on. Oh, oh, do you think it's gonna turn on guys? <gasps> oh my God. Come on, you can do it. No way. What is it doing when you press that power button? When we press the button, that's called posting. Power on self test. That's where the software comes on and the bootstrap loads in firmware. Okay, okay, but it's working. 10 euro PlayStation 3, guys. Oh my god. Wonder if there's a game in there. What the heck? Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Fucking a controller. Okay. Ah, uh, reconstruction of the system. Okay, looks like it's corrupt. I don't actually read print, but I'm just gonna risk it to get the biscuit. Okay, after about four hours, it wouldn't update. Our hard disk drive has a corrupted file system. That means our operating system's not loading and needs to be repaired. No surprises there, this thing could be 16 years old, as this is from the original PlayStation 3 fat model. It's super easy to restore a PlayStation. You just need a USB key formatted to the FAT32 file system. Use this PC, right click on your USB drive, select format, select FAT32 and press start. Google PS3 ROM download. The MobiWare website had all the old releases. This is perfect. I'll be able to jailbreak this console down the line to set up the USB drive with the correct directories in the right hierarchy. Make a folder, PS3, all capital letters. Make a folder in the PS3 folder, update, all capital letters. Drag and drop that PlayStation 3 ROM into that update folder. Got it. Now we can turn it on and install our operating system. Okay, so it's managed to detect the key. We've booted to the USB drive. Try number five. Chica. Uh, in case of formatage, all your data will be deleted. Yeah, that's you what want we want. To continue? Yes. yes. Oh yeah, awesome. Just like that, we got ourselves a working PS3 for 10 bucks, no worries. Cool, cool, cool. Let's hope this works. Quite possible it had a bad update. Controller, press the PS button. Can put it in English. Yes. Can I read the screen? Yes. Yeah. This is promising, it even knows the time code. Brussels, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's getting old. Ah, the good old days when you didn't need internet to play a game. Oh, it's doing something. I might be too used to playing on PC and running all my games off M.2s and SSDs because this seems awful slow. They're speaking, you can't hear. Oh, it's the storyline. Yeah, it's oh, playing. Can skip. What do you pay this? 10 euro. 10 euros. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? With a game. With a game. Untested, it works. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Next time we're gonna open it up and deep clean it and put in an SSD and start out properly for our modifications. Please smash the like, share with your friends, and if you subscribe, thank you 